Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am cheap. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and welcome back to more Nuclear Throne. Last time we made progress, progress, progress. Though not nearly as much progress as we thought. Thanks to YouTube user Multi Awesome Lol for pointing out that uh, that was a graphical glitch which showed our bar full and we were not in fact adjacent to the throne as we so suspected we were. But you know what? I'm not mad about that because I still made it farther into the game than I ever had before. I made a huge amount of progress and it's given me a great confidence boost. I've spent the balance of the rest of the week patting myself on the back. So we're going to jump in this time. We're going to play as... Uh, who are we going to play as? I think we're going to play as steroids. I, I tooled around with a few of the characters. Uh, in my off time, but uh, steroids I really like. Start loaded, less accurate, dual wielding. Uh, the less accurate is going to be great because I am naturally less accurate, but uh, let's see what we can do with steroids. The dual wielding is an ability that I really do enjoy, and it's the sort of ability that I think I could actually train myself to use as I have trained myself to remember to use uh, Crystal's ability to crystallize and shield herself. So uh, just to kind of kind of go over it, this would be a really good contrast here. If I press both the right and left mouse buttons at the same time, I can fire two bullets, one from each of my gun. If I pick up this crossbow, however, I can now fire a crossbow bolt and a bullet. You can imagine how that can stack up as you start to gather additional weapons, cooler weapons, more effective weapons than the pistol. Really excited. Really excited to see how this works and uh, also taking unneeded damage. Always a great way to start off a game of Nuclear Throne. Okay, I think we left behind an ammo crate there. No big deal. But that was a really sparse first level. The uh, number one thing here is remembering which, uh, which gun is on which button. And uh, it's a little bit difficult for, for me at first. Uh, all those things that sort of require you to carve out a bit of your brain power and uh, dedicate it to remembering a, B, C, or D, or X, Y, or Z. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna forget to use abilities. I'm going to forget which uh, gun is on which... There we go. Uh, which gun is on which button. These are the sort of things that I am plagued with in life, not just in games. Very bad short-term memory. All right, so yeah, I think we're gonna go with the laser pistol. That's gonna give us two sort of uh, expensive weapons, uh, but I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it for now because they are both also very powerful weapons. Here's a time when it starts to be a little less worth it, because you've got all of these little guys that you have to take out kind of one at a time. What's that, a shotgun? That might alleviate some of our difficulties. Yeah, a slugger. So still, a weapon that needs uh, a bit of accuracy to it, so I'm looking for things that make my life easier. Things like shotguns and, you know, splinter launchers or whatever the hell, the flak cannons, whatever the hell they're called. Things that go out in many directions and compensate for my natural ineptitudes. All right, so last wish. Uh, not going to go with last wish for sure. Recycle gland, not bad. Uh, Throne butt seems really nice. Fully automatic weapons. 20% of shots won't even cost ammo at all. And gamma guts. Gamma guts is an ability that I do enjoy, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to try out throne butt. Got to showcase the throne butt when I've got the chance to do so. So here we go. Clear out. Of course, we are on the third level, so that means it's going to be time to fight the bandit. There we go. Take those shells. Kill you. Got some bolts, that's nice. I could really use impact wrists about right now, the uh, ability that actually makes corpses fly and hit harder. That would help to compensate for a little bit of what I'm going through right here. But, well, you know, we'll get it when we get it. Let's try not to take any unneeded damage from the bandit here. Okay, that was that was that was that was unneeded damage. Absolutely, I was gonna say I was uh, gonna scold myself for taking unneeded damage from the bandit, and I took unneeded damage from a passerby, and it made it all the worse. So let's uh, ooh, let's kill some guys and get some ammo or something. There's a gun that can compensate for my natural inaccuracies. The assault rifle. Uh, yeah, we'll go for it. Let's do it. And that's going to do it for this level. Moving on to the sewers, my favorite, my favorite. Although when I start to get to the Crystal Caves a little more frequently, I think that one will become my, quote, favorite. Uh, Bloodlust is always nice, and I could use the ammo. Uh, the only other one that really is, is tempting me here is uh, stronger attract power, but I really need more life. 
So bloodlust seems like a no-brainer here. All right. Gonna take it slow. I have started to take a little bit of unneeded damage. Not happy with myself about that, so... You know. I want to try to... Ooh, okay, okay. There's a rat party going on up there. I'm glad that I hit that canister. It was definitely a rat rave going on in the upper left-hand corner here. All right, all right. What do we have? What do we have? Let's fire some precisely aimed shots, or we could fire some inaccurately aimed shots. Whatever. Okay, we got ourselves a mama rat over here, so let's get in here and do a little damage to her. Nice. That could have gone a whole lot worse. Whole lot worse. Okay, lots of rats in this. Lots of rats in the sewer. Another assault rifle. Dare we dual wield assault rifles? No, we will not. No chance. Level four, we like that. And this should be our last enemy. Off we go. We get a mutation. Recycle gland. Racing mind. No damage from explosions. Yeah, we like that boiling veins. And laser brain. We don't have any energy weapons on us at the time. I think boiling veins is the play is the way to go, especially with the place that we're headed, which is here to the scrapyards. Okay. No, you're a sneaky one. You are sneaky and you are quite uh, resilient. Okay, that fire is definitely doing something to me. Uh, doing a number, doing something to me. It's doing a number on me there. So uh, let's clear that out. Definitely don't want that samurai man killing me today. Uh, he can kill me tomorrow all that he wants because I won't be recording tomorrow, so it won't be nearly as embarrassing. I know there's something with this car. You know, I talked in the last episode about how I wasn't really investing myself too deeply into the Nuclear Throne world. I was trying to learn a lot of this stuff on my own. And uh, right after that, I took that back 100% and started going around and checking out other things, watching other YouTubers doing videos, and just kind of getting myself uh, informed a little bit more on the game. Uh, you know, most of the stuff I want to figure out on my own, but some of these secrets seem obtuse to a degree that figuring, that out, figuring them out on your own would be almost impossible. So, uh, yeah, I, I saw a couple of folks uh, doing some business with that car, specifically that car with, like, the golden highlights on it. Uh, but I didn't really pay close enough attention to figure out what it was. They hit the car, and the portal formed. But I don't know the details. And that's the funny thing. Like, when you're watching... Wow. When you're watching somebody who's been playing this game for a while, and they're, like, 50 episodes into their, their series of it, you know, it, it, they don't bother to tell you all that little stuff. And I wasn't quite determined enough to go back and actually invest the time in uh, pulling all that up. So we are not liking the start here. Uh, you, I mean, that's 100% my fault. I started super aggressive. I ran right at that guy. Like, what the heck? Okay, should we dual wield sledgehammers just for the comedy of it? Why not? You know what? Why not? And a third sledgehammer. Had I only been born with a third arm. Okay, so we're gonna dual wield sledgehammers just for the kitch of it, and I think we're gonna run. We're gonna run right towards. You know, better accuracy would be nice, but we're wielding sledgehammers. We're gonna run right to stronger attract power for sure. Here we go. It's just ridiculous looking. <laughs> just the two sledgehammers. Oh my lord. Okay, here we go. This is extremely hard to keep up with as far as the swing timers and stuff. But you know what? It's fun. And it's stupid. And, uh, you know, video games, they're about having fun, right? Not to some people, but uh, I try to keep it that way. Screwdriver. Alright. Oh, come with me. Machine gun, where you... Oh, come on. Machine gun... Because I was going to say, fun is fun, but I'm going to change over to this machine gun. And now we're going to be fighting our boss with... Well, we're not going to be fighting our boss because we're completely incompetent. So here we go. Got to remember to use that uh, quick restart. That's my apologies for doing that. So let's let's balance ourselves here. Let's not, uh, let's not be so aggressive. Let's not run headlong at scorpions. Uh, that was a novel... Uh, experience there, get, getting the dual sledgehammers. It was fun. 
Uh, we could dual-wield shotguns. Uh, this game keeps challenging me to dual-wield two of the same weapon, uh, which is not smart. But where are we? Who's left? Who's left? But yeah, so that was just a that was a throwaway run last time, just a, a bit of novelty there. And we got somebody up here. We got to have somebody up here. Of course we do. There you are. Oh, you're the last one. Okay. Wow, not a good first level for XP. Okay, concentrate here. So you notice I'm getting quiet. I always get quiet when I'm actually playing seriously for once, or thinking about something intently. Oh, disc gun? Okay, definitely not going to be taking that. And get down here and make sure we get all this XP. Power up our shotgun ammo. Make some noise in this general direction. We've got our level, which is great. Love those mutators, those mutations. Don't love that damage. There we go. Clear it out. We use a little sh little pistol ammo. Nearly avoided, or uh, nearly took some unavo some avoidable. Man, the English language in me. Sometimes we just get into a fight and it wins. Nearly took some avoidable damage there. So I like impact risk with a shotgun, but I like rabbit paw a lot more than that. So, you know, that's what I'm going with. Well, oh, you know, I had I had successfully dodged that, then I dodged back into it. <laughs> oh, such is the joy of low-level play. Man, we're just not we're just not feeling. This feels like that inevitable sophomore slump. You know, you have that band that comes out and they're really great, and they put out an album that just blows people's minds, and everybody's anticipating the second album, and the second album is horrible. It just doesn't hit the mark at all. It's like they forgot how to music. And that's kind of how I feel right now. That last episode was so good that I feel a pressure to follow it up. And I am failing horribly at following it up. So we're going to take the machine gun. Uh, even though this is going to pull from the same bullet pool, we have 251 ammo. And we're not necessarily going to use our pistol much now that we have the machine gun. There we go. Sound logic, if I do say so myself. Sure, some of you who actually know how to play this game might disagree with that, but I am going to live in my own little world, and I'm going to say things that I think make me sound smart. Glad these guys don't do melee damage, because I, I run into those guys and miss shooting them so often. Slugger, I like the feeling and the sound of that. I'm going to slug some people. There we go. So we got our dual wielding with a slugger and a machine gun. Nice clear out, one enemy left. Don't know how I avoided getting hit by him, or did I get hit by him? God, I'm not even paying attention. Okay, so a track power, always a great one. We don't have to worry about homing bolts. Even recycle land, this is actually a lineup of four really nice ones, but you know, what the heck, throw them butt. Let's go for it. Hello. All right, so we're trying to overcome the sophomore slump here. Let's see if we can do it. I'm not 100% confident that we can, but the dodging feels better. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better about the gameplay right now. I feel like I'm doing slightly better. And, you know, that's the time. Uh, I'm talking. I'm opening up my stupid mouth. That's usually the time when I die. Open that stupid mouth. Pat yourself on the back, and you're going to get killed. All right, so we, we survived. We made it. We got a little bit of life there at the end. Everything. So, all right, things are looking up. Things are looking up. Let's not waste this. Let's not throw this away here. Let's try to do something with it. By God. All right. We're definitely not going to play the grenade launcher. We are going to shotgun some rats in the face. Oh, we're having a rat party here. It's a rat rave up top. All right. So we got to kill the source of the rats or we are indeed are going to die ourselves. A lot of rats. A lot of rats up here. We got a lot of that impact wrist. Feels like it's paying off up here. I hear things flying around. I hear things dying. Horrible deaths. So I am definitely uh, not regretting grabbing that impact wrist. Stop shooting the wall, you moron. These rats run away like they're scared of me, but uh, really they have nothing to fear because what am I going to do? I'm going to shoot the wall near them? Intimidating. 
All right, so now we can finally calm down. Three poison mother rats, or whatever those are called, defiled mother rats. That, I think, is the most I've, I've had in any sewers run. And it was pretty, uh, pretty crazy. Something down here who can shoot. All right, we got our level despite taking some poor damage, but, you know, I take poor damage all the time, so that's just kind of par for the course. And we have an assault rifle. So something is alive somewhere, huh? Something is alive somewhere. See if we can figure it out. Something is alive. Somewhere. Are we sure something is alive somewhere? Are you sure, game? Are you sure that something is alive? I see light up there. What's... I'm, I'm confused. What, did I miss a path up here? What's happening? So I feel reasonably confident that nothing is alive. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to go down here and I'm going to get this grenade launcher. And I am going to figure out... You know what? I want to do that the opposite. I'm going to do that. I am going to figure out if we can get to that glowing light up there. This is a weird one. I, I don't know 100% if this is me not knowing what the hell's going on or if this is the game actually having a glitch. Okay. That's interesting. It's gone all purple on me. Okay, there's the portal. It's not attracting me. That's really weird. I mean, you know, early access, so I'm not complaining here. I just want to know what this light is up here. This is just totally not a run anymore. This is now just me spelunking into the sewers. Okay, so there's a portal way up there. So there's a portal here that isn't attracting me, and there's a portal way up here. Okay, and that one attracted me. Okay. What's that? What's that music? It sounds like a Sonic the Hedgehog bonus stage up in here. Okay, so we found something? Question marks. Okay, yeah, this is new. Hello. Um... Sure. <laughs> um, I have no idea. Uh, it's a purple tile. So, oh, is that a... Okay, so those are Koopa Troopas. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm I, I'm thoroughly confused at this point. Um, was there was I supposed to do something else there? I don't. Somebody, please, <laughs> tell me what just happened. I am so confused. So clearly something glitched to, to prevent the main portal from getting to me. I don't, or maybe it's something with having the grenade launcher on the... God, that's the thing I love about games like this. And that's part of the reason that I didn't go to lengths to find out a lot about this game. I'm utterly confused as to what that is, but I also feel like I discovered something, you know? And if this was just like, oh, and here's that thing that I know about because I watched it in someone else's video... I wouldn't feel the same way that I feel right now. Like, I legitimately feel like I discovered something new right there. Oh, let's not die with our triumph. Wow, so yeah, I just my mind is just racing. Like, I have... I want to know what the heck that was. So there were turtle enemies. There was a variation of the rat. It was a purple tile set sewer. There was a weapon crate there that I didn't get to. Wow, okay, yeah, I'm... I'm hyped, I like that. Uh, that's a it's a good feeling that feeling of discovery is 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 definitely one that you can't necessarily oh splinter pistol uh it's definitely not one that you can always duplicate in games and i definitely have that feeling right now all right so i think i want to trade the grenade launcher for the splinter pistol 
Maybe, although I can I can do some work with the... I can do some work with the grenade launcher in this level before I change out any weapons. So let's do that. Let's stop taking damage. Yeah, I'm just, I'm still, like, my mind is still in another place right now. All right, so we got a lot of shells. That's good. Avoid that. Really? Oh, 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 okay. So we definitely have a guy up here who's up to shenanigans. Oh, Lord, okay. Lots of stuff going on. Lots of people trying to kill me up in this general direction. Cornered myself. Got myself killed. All right. I can't. I can't even restart that. Yeah. The sewer. So, you know, I'll open it up to you guys. If you know what that is, tell me, because I don't think I'm ever going to reason out exactly what it is. I'm assuming it has something to do with the grenade launcher on the sewers, but I don't know. I'm not sure if it had to do with the glitch that I encountered where the portal seemed to form, but it didn't form. I, I don't know, but I would love to know. But it's I'm stoked that I found that out on my own. I figured out... No, I didn't figure anything out. I stumbled upon some complete weird thing all on my own, and I'm really, really smiling right now. I, I, I love it. I love it. Nuclear Throne. All right, guys. I have been Big Dave, and I'm going to smile from ear to ear for the next week as I struggle to figure out what just happened to me in the sewers. So until next time, take it easy.